X Defiant is dead. That's right, approximately seven months after the release of X Defiant, Ubisoft has announced that it will be sunsetting X Defiant and the servers will shut down June 3rd, 2025, which is approximately six months away at this point. It looks like as of now, people won't be able to make purchases or download the game or create an account anymore. And they are offering refunds on certain items, including the Founders Pack. Although there are some people celebrating the death of X Defiant, there are a lot of people who see this as a major problem. Jake Lucky on Twitter asks, Will we ever be able to see a free-to-play or even paid shooter compete with Call of Duty? Where did X Defiant go wrong? There was a lot said on Twitter, but one of the most common reactions is that this is overall a bad thing. Competition not only keeps the space fun and provides innovation and more options for players, but it keeps other large companies on their toes. Having fresh competition can ensure that Call of Duty keeps their game tight. A couple of months ago, there was a rumor that Ubisoft would shut down X Defiant. However, the executive producer of the game basically came out and said that it wasn't true. In hindsight, this is pretty sad because I think what we saw were the passionate devs trying to stop the game from being shut down. Although there are some people mocking the game after claiming to be a COD killer only to die seven months later, it's important to remember there are a lot of people who genuinely enjoy this product, and it was an awesome game to have and play, and many people's go-to shooter. Additionally, it's important to remember that something like up to 300 people will lose their jobs because of this. Getting this news right before Christmas. Apparently, there's even two studios that will be pretty much completely shutting down. Studios are located in San Francisco and Osaka. X Defiant still had millions of players and certainly isn't the first shooter to come out and try and compete in a crowded marketplace. In their official announcement of the sunsetting of X Defiant, they mentioned in the end we had over 15 million players play our game. Now that is actually a lot more than I expected, and that's quite impressive. I find it a little surprising that the whole operation is getting flat out canned. This indicates that they were over their head with their investment on this game, and were probably not making a whole lot of money. Ironically, one of the biggest downsides of X Defiant was the cosmetics. I can imagine it's hard to sell cosmetics that aren't really that cool. Selling cosmetics and battle passes are pretty much the only way this game makes money. A large Call of Duty YouTuber named Blame Truth had been a huge voice and large proponent of X Defiant. This is what he said about it on Twitter. Gutted. I feel like the game was about to find its footing with Season 3, too. Assassin's Creed theme season was going to be sick. I haven't had this much fun on a shooter since Black Ops 3 or 4 era Call of Duty, and I've put nearly 400 hours into the game. The maps are phenomenal and the smooth movement combined with the classic arcadey gun feel had me and my friends, a lot of old school FPS fans, hooked. Bringing all the UBIPs together and being able to pull all from sorts of different things gave this so much potential with time too. It was nice playing something that brought me back to how gaming and shooters used to be. The sad fact is gaming has changed so much and the things I grew up on, Call of Duty 4, Gears of War, Halo 3, wouldn't really hold attention spans today either. I definitely agree X Defiant does bring it back to a more nostalgic time in gaming but he's probably right. The meta of what is enjoyable to modern gamers has definitely changed. Mark Rubin, the executive producer, and a few other handful of people were fairly active with the community. Mark Rubin even retweeted one of my videos about it. But at the end of the day, it seems like there was a pretty small handful of people who were truly passionate about this game. I can't help but feel bad for the people who this was a passion project for. The release of Black Ops 6 and the fact that the game wasn't in complete shambles when released is probably the final nail in the coffin for X Defiant. Shortly after one of the betas for X Defiant, the game was intended to release, but had to be postponed for quite a while. It ended up being several months for players to wait when the hype was probably at its height. Call of Duty was in a bad place. X Defiant was new and exciting, but they didn't release the game for quite some time. If I remember correctly, it was about seven months in that time. People seem to have moved on. This game was always in the shadow of Call of Duty, and I think that was its major downfall. It was even said that apparently Ubisoft was expecting this game to compete with Call of Duty. Now don't get me wrong, I really like this game and do think it's pretty solid even compared to Call of Duty, but realistically, there's absolutely nothing that can kill off Call of Duty at this point. When people said this in the beginning, it seemed like a benign joke, not something people were taking that seriously. I think there are people who use this game to replace COD, including myself. Maybe this game being neck and neck with Call of Duty wasn't that far-fetched, but like, come on. It seems like Ubisoft was completely delusional with this. 
Like, it's almost shocking to hear that in hindsight. So what went wrong exactly? I think this game was always in the shadow of Call of Duty and probably couldn't live up to it even if it was objectively a masterpiece. The game failed to have its own identity. Even the stylization and the lore of the factions came from other Ubisoft games, almost like they were trying to create a Ubisoft multiverse within this game. It didn't bring anything incredibly groundbreaking to the table, and essentially aimed to be an off-brand Call of Duty while falling short on some of the key aspects that made even Call of Duty great. The cosmetics were pretty damn lackluster. They had a handful of cool skins for guns that were actually very cool. I like the fact that you can unlock mastery skins and have multiple medals, but everything else just wasn't that great. The design of a lot of the skins just screamed free to play. One of the biggest, if not the biggest issue with this game were the server slash netcode issues. This is tricky to navigate in my opinion. Netcode issues are basically issues with the network that connect players online. This results to a mismatch in timing which can lead to hits not registering, delayed reactions, rubber banding, and general lag. This is tricky in my opinion because I suspect a lot of players have a tendency to blame network issues before admitting they lost fair and square. I've seen a ton of videos of people blaming lag or desync when they clearly didn't win the fight. That being said, there absolutely were netcode issues on X Defiant. The devs confirmed it and fought it the whole time. I can't say I really ran into too many game breaking issues and my internet connection sucks anyway, so I can never tell if it's the game's problem or my internet connection. The long queue times were pretty bad. Nobody was playing, it seems like modern games have slightly longer lobby queue times in the past, but X Defiant was pretty bad. At launch it was hit or miss, but sometimes it took too long to find a game. They made a change at some point that made it abysmal. I'm a very patient person, but some of the X Defiant queue times literally made me exit the game and play something else more than once particularly late at night. I stay up too late playing video games, and if I were playing X Defiant close to 2 or 3 a.m. local time, it was difficult to find a match, possibly over 10 minutes. They changed something and created a quick play option that I suspect just shoved people into matches as fast as possible, but this was a problem that got worse the less people played. Personally, I think the gun customization was definitely way lamer than Call of Duty. Almost every gun of the same type had the same options, and it just got kind of boring. There were some cool builds and ways to change things up that were interesting, but a petty thing is some people have said the name sucks. <laughs> It's worth mentioning that X Defiant definitely got some things right, particularly their map design. I mean, these maps were some of the coolest maps that we've seen in a shooter in a while. Definitely really fun. The gameplay, in my opinion, really did feel good. I mean, the movement and the gunplay were exactly what you would expect from a shooter, and I mean, they, they worked well despite the desync issues. And really it incorporated a lot of classic stuff and classic guns that I think a lot of people who play a lot of FPS are familiar with and enjoy and they all kind of handled as expected. There's currently a petition going around to stop the closing of X Defiant, which I find kind of interesting, but that shows that there are people who are genuinely enjoying the game and want to save it. It's kind of heartbreaking to think about, it's kind of kind of sad to see and watch. I don't really know if they can actually reverse that decision, but there you go. The more that I'm looking into this whole situation and the more research I'm doing and thinking about this, this really is like, <laughs> it's very emotional, honestly. I mean, it does sadden me. I kind of understand how hard it is to like fight for your dream and then have to watch it die. I don't know, it's just, this is a very, it's it's a very emotionally charged thing. And like the reality of it is, you know, pretty serious. Cause again, it's like a bunch of people are losing their jobs in a very, very bad market right now. But also just, you know, I, I do believe that a lot of people involved with this thing were trying very, very hard to do something that's like genuinely very difficult. I mean, taking on Call of Duty is a titanic task. I will say, I still think X Defiant is actually a pretty dang good game, all things considered, which makes this a little scarier to think about. The desync and netcode issues are certainly a huge problem, although I didn't find it game breaking or honestly even notice any problem that often. I thought that the movement actually felt better than Call of Duty. I would play X Defiant for a long time, then play COD and vice versa, and honestly felt X Defiant felt better. It felt how Call of Duty used to feel to me. 
the gunplay in COD is definitely better. In conclusion, there's some solid reasons as to why this game wasn't really competitive. Even with that said, it's crazy that it's getting shut down this quickly. The game must be a critical failure from a financial standpoint to cut it short this quickly. It's not great overall for gamers. We lose a game and competition to keep games on their toes, and now avid X Defiant players are refugees searching for a new title. The truth is, recently, I've stepped away from X Defiant, and I've been playing the finals. The player count on this game is a bit similar, and I hope the finals is not on the brink of the same fate. However, this game is truly underrated and a breath of fresh air. Additionally, I will be going back to Overwatch and playing a lot more. It's also in a pretty good place. Rest in peace, X Defiant. I will certainly miss you. And I wish the entire production team that was involved in this game that is getting laid off or displaced because of this change, I wish you luck in your job search and your new endeavors. Tell me why you think X Defiant failed in the comments below. Thank you so much, gamers. I'll see you later.